What's up guys and welcome back to the channel This is some real paranormal shit This is some real This is the Guys, guys This is the real deal Believe me when I say this I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet Cause most of y'all be cheating and just go look at the title in the left corner up there the reason why I wanted to react to this is because I normally be watching the uh, videos. So I thought, why don't I watch it with y'all? So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Are you stupid or something? I love horror videos. The only problem is, I just hate jump scares. I just hate jump scares, that's all. I don't like being jump scared. Like, if somebody finna jump scare me, boy, I'm finna punch you in the, in the face. Yo, what's going with you, my nigga? I'm playing. So, I don't wanna make a long goddamn intro. What, what, what I'm saying is, today we finna be reacting to Conjuring the Lady in White It Hunted. Same or spirit or. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that shit, so. If you didn't understand what I said, uh, go read it. Go read it yourself. Go watch the video yourself and read the stuff. No, go read it yourself. That's all I'm saying. With that being said, I'm gonna dive in this video. Let me turn up the volume. The Lady in White, heartbroken 500 years later. Executed priest, trapped within his hiding place. The lost soldiers, wandering the halls, waiting to go home. The definition of insidious. Wait! Sam and Kobe also went back a few days ago, a, a month ago, I think. And that video was lit as fuck. Man, I should be cussing. But that video was, was hella dope, so. If y'all didn't watch Hell Week, man, stop playing with me. Y'all better go watch it. I didn't expect them also to be at the controlling hours. Like, if, if the stuff... Sam and Kobe cut was that intense then What did they bring for us? It's to proceed in a gradual, subtle way But actually with harmful effects And this is exactly what happens tonight A hall full of stories guys Damn. Ghosts, murders and mysteries Oh wow Jeez That poor girl never ate again Never slept again Never drank again and she died literally of a broken heart. That's when the famous sightings of the lady, white lady sorry, have taken place. Quite a few paranormal um, experiences in this room. I've actually seen a few people come out of here and be physically sick. The lights are fully out. There's actually no one Damn. else on the entire property. These are the areas that they've seen her walking through here. Wait. Guys, the thing is, y'all do y'all do not know how excited I am for this video. Like I literally post like a hundred times. I let I you you want you you can literally post like a hundred times in the last minute, and we're only a minute in this. Like y'all do not understand how excited I am. So wait, wait, before we watch this, man, grab yourself some popcorn, sit back and enjoy the activities. Gentlemen, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. It stopped. We did just murder inside. Can you now turn on the flashlight to give us confirmation? Oh. Yeah. See, this is incredible. She's literally answering me. And all you need to do is come closer here. Have you even got photo evidence? Yes, just like that. Just like that. It's the most haunted room. That means something. If you enjoy us communicating with you, we can let it be known. Wait, so, so they not like, they not really at the conjuring house. They just, they just visited the lady from the conjuring house. The white lady. Ah, uh, this bitch. Okay. Okay. Flashlight just moved. 
What is that? Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Before this starts, guys, if, if you have a weak heart and if you're scared of stuff like this, if you're not like me, uh, don't act like, like, like you, don't act like you uh, like shit like this, just to know, click off of this damn video if you can't handle scary shit, like, get, get, get out of here. Do me a favor, please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, I'm saying. Tonight's investigation takes place at Somlisberry Hall, the lady in white. This is night 7 of 13 from our UK and Ireland series, so please make sure to subscribe. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel that is fully dedicated to all things paranormal. They filmed this September 1st, 2021. That wasn't long ago. Paranormal, haunted, spooky, mysterious, unsolved, really scary makes you want to okay, cry come we're gonna friends. fight through it because we're not sad or scared on the inside we'll never show that to anyone ever i swear that's just our thing but you know we're here <laughs> to do it and find proof of the paranormal we're in the uk the haunted capital of the world you know is it it is i i truly believe i believe england it has to be i believe the england is the most haunted country in the world. i didn't read Tonight that is a probably did it this was dan's know what choice said, this so. is my your area town. You this is my this. hometown. I did this. I take full responsibility. If one of you get dragged off into the woods, mm -hmm. um, this is my local town. Uh, this is the local hotspot. And many, many stories of hauntings, rumors of white ladies appearing on the street causing major accidents and deaths. What? Oh, Whoa. boys, you are in French Free tonight. What? Damn. Like we're sleeping here tonight. Oh, we are. So you know, we're staying overnight. Like, we're staying awake, laying in bed like this. I'm sleeping tonight. here tonight. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be out. Just, <laughs> so I'm gonna be on just, TikTok all night. Just, <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's every night, but yeah. yeah. But I'll be out cold, and you will be catching up on probably... season six of Fake Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's like that's the game on Sega where you drive around all crazy, right? Yeah. That's that. Yeah, that's and then they, and then and then he asks you questions while driving, and if they get the question right, they win money before yeah. they get to their location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. And that's, as much as you know about this place, as much as I could read up on the internet, it was only right that we hit up Simon again. Simon Entwithel, our historian from Pendle Hill, will be joining us tonight to just kind of yes. really yes. recreate the stories. And in my opinion. I believe that the ability in which he can tell these stories oh, yeah. mm. might even resurrect like hypo activity. the residual energy that might yeah. be here from the things he's going to tell us. Those stories just so thoroughly, vividly, just drilling them into your brain so that when you go to sleep here tonight, it's all you can think about. Just the ghosts that just haunt the halls in all these angry spirits and you're just going to feel that in your Starting bed to sleeping back out. tonight. I'm... <laughs> I, I think. Your brain just went. Go talk to Simon. Go talk to my, my future father. Somlesbury Hall is renowned as one of the most haunted locations in Britain, with now legendary spirits that reside here. All throughout the 700-year-old structure seems to be free reign for the hauntings that frequently occur here. In the Great Hall, guests are known to experience inexplicable slaps to the back of the head, uncomfortable feelings by wedding guests, and shadow figures quickly crossing trying not to be seen. The room upstairs have captured photographs with unexpected guests, and the smallest chamber atop the building the leaves those that? daring oh. enough to stay in alone, nauseous, and instantly sleep-deprived. This place knows many tales of horror and hauntings, but tonight we will only focus on the ones we believe we encountered during our investigation. The lady in white manifested from heartbreak witnessing her fiance murdered by her own brothers by order of her father the soldiers damn, that would burrow away here during cold winter hold up guys i just like get the most spots because i uh it was really uncomfortable there so 
Let's continue. Only to never see spring. And the priest who is executed for practicing his faith. We believe that to properly conduct a paranormal investigation of this historic location, we have to indeed know the history. So who better to bring that back to life for Simon. us than our friend from Pendle Hill, Simon and Twistle. Please make sure to subscribe as we have brand new investigations yeah, and do locations that. So subscribe. Week. If you hear or see anything during this video, please leave a comment and let us know. Hey everyone, before the investigation begins, I just want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Shudder, which is hands down the best streaming service for all things. Uh... I do not know if I want to watch the sponsorship, but it's the overnight channel and it's Elton, and we're gonna be doing it. It's horror, thriller, and supernatural for movies and shows. Something I know that you all love. Shudder is considered mm. to be the Netflix of horror and is adding new content every single week. So of course they are closing out the year by packing in holiday horror such as Black Christmas, Better Watch Out, and the advent calendar. Shutter gives you unlimited access, ad free, on all of your devices, no matter what that might be. So get started streaming the best horror, thriller, and supernatural content. Shutter's expertly curated collection includes. Let's see. Let's see what what what, what do they got for us? They got Coco di Coco da. Maybe I maybe I said it wrong. They got slacks. Stay out of the attic. Maybe it's the one I watched the other day. Oh, I don't know. They got lucky. They got the dark and the wicked. I'm not gonna mention the the stuff on the right because because of reasons. Go to yes, you'll get exclusive unlimited eight free exclusive thingy thing is yes after midnight. The nightmare wakes. No, the nightmare wakes. It would have sounded way better if, if the name was the nightmare awakes. Okay, but anyway, they also got the queen of black magic. Damn, they get that cover. They got hunted, not like haunted. No, it's hunted. Like when. When you go deer hunting, it's, it's like that. And they got, I do not know. Let's continue the video. It's must see titles like Vicious Fun, The Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman, plus all the best horror documentaries and the hit Creep Show TV series from executive producer Greg Nicotero. Creep Show. Dead. So go ahead and try Shudder for free for 30 days right now by heading to shudder.com, S H U D D E R. Go to the website, Use guys. Code overnight. Get started right away. Start watching some more spooky content besides just this channel. Which, by the way, thank you all so much for watching. And nah, this UK don't, series. It's no problem. And Ireland. No problem. And the catacombs. Enjoy. It's some of the best, coolest investigations we have ever done. Hello there, guys. I Man. bet. Good to I see bet. you again. Nice to see you, folks. Welcome to one of Great Britain's gems, the fabulous Grade One listed. Team, that place oh, looks full of stories, guys. That place stories, looks trippiest. Murders and mysteries. Please follow me. Well, Yo. <laughs> the outside of the place Whoa, be looking so late. Cool. Okay. I yeah. want this in my house. I just want like a giant earbud to go, huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that like a chandelier or something? Some, Some shit ever, like that. Do you ever get fast food? Yeah. You do? What does it sound like when you order? Uh, well, um... <laughs> Say McDonald's. Well, I, I actually do like pizza. Really? <laughs> that was a little white trash. Uh, <laughs> pizza Hut's fantastic, really. Although, um, I find the McDonald's in America a lot better than the, the British ones. Really. You get a much bigger portion in, in the USA. Oh, oh that's oh, right. Yeah. 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 The British ones are like, uh, the, say, a Big Mac. Yeah. Three mouthfuls, it's gone, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Well, you are in the oldest part of Sardinia Hall. Our story really starts way back in the year 1322, and a family called the South was very- Mate, all up. Yes. Mosquitoes everywhere. 
I'm just gonna cover my ears. Very, very wealthy landowners. Really wealthy landowners. Things were going very, very well for this family until a gentleman called Robert the Bruce and the Scottish Lords came down from Scotland and set fire to every building in Clitheroe. So the South of family thought, let's start again. And they chose this exact site. This is the oldest part of Salisbury Hall. And that beam in the corner there, I can assure you, does date back to 1325. However, there was a huge problem for this family that lived here. They were ardent Catholics. Now, after 1536, King Henry VIII outlawed the Roman Catholic faith, and anyone preaching Catholicism would be classed as a traitor. The South has refused to accept any other religion. As a result, this beautiful building was indeed a safe haven for Catholic priests. When they arrived on the shores of Lancashire, they come inland and the South of family would look after them. The army always had their suspicions on the South of family, but each time they arrived, the priests were hidden in the, the priest huts. So therefore, they, they put a scout on one of the local hills and he watched all day and all night and saw a priest arrive. He alerted the authorities, the authorities arrived, the South were all arrested and sent to the Tower of London. They found a priest upstairs. He was executed by beheading. When the Harrisons died, they left the building to their 21-year-old son, uh, William Harrison. Uh, he became insolvent and sadly, he shot himself upstairs. The bullet is still in the wall. I shall show you that later on. Even got the what sound I love effect. about this building is every single room has a different story of ghosts, murders, and mysteries. Oh, wow. Jeez. We're now in the year 1420. And this room was designed by a gentleman called Thomas Southworth. There's his lovely wife, Anne, just there. If the army were in the area and the Southworths were harboring Catholic priests, they'd pull this lever back. The front of the fireplace would come open and in the priests would go. They were protected by a sheet of metal here from the flames. They had their own air supply up there. And if you look out of the window, you'll see just how far back the actual uh, chimney breast goes. You could get 12 priests in there, no problem. What? King Henry VIII knew all about it. And he, he said, I want this man captured. He is a danger to the Anglican. This dude look, looks familiar. Like Randolph. Y'all know Randolph from the side, man. He, look, he looks like Randolph. Religion. He was chased all over England and was captured at a place called Hinlet Hall in Somerset in the year 1606 and sent to the Tower of London. He was told when he got to the Tower of London, if he just renounced his Catholic faith, he could indeed uh, go home. He refused to accept any other religion apart from Catholicism. The poor lad was hung, drawn and quartered a very, very painful and barbaric death. Let's have our first ghostly tale. There's nothing Thomas liked more than sitting in front of a glowing fire with his wife Anne by his side watching his children playing the carpet. Being a typical Catholic, he told his wife, Anne, when I depart this earth, please carry out my last wishes as a Catholic. I wish to be laid in my coffin for two days. His wife, Anne, very, very sadly carried out this last wish. Some 400 years later, a gentleman called John Erickson from New Jersey arrived in 1972 with his wife and three daughters. Just like any tourist, he came and started taking photographs and took one from this rather acute angle. Went back to New Jersey and handed in the film. Three days later, he went back to the film processors and skipped for the photographs. His jaw dropped in amazement as he saw the photograph he'd taken from this rather acute angle. You could clearly see a coffin on a trestle and he knew it wasn't there when he took the photograph. He did contact the hall and there was no logical explanation whatsoever. Um, every time I enter this room, there's always a different aroma. It's always a very pleasant aroma. <laughs> But it's always very, very different. And I always feel as if Thomas is indeed still with us. Oh, wow. There's so many rooms. Welcome to the chapel. When the South was lived here, sermons would take place in an atmosphere of fear and persecution. Remember, the Catholic faith has been completely outlawed. And anyone preaching Catholicism will be treated like we would treat a modern day terrorist. Kill so what he's basically saying is... Back in the day, if if priests came to the, the to this place, to the town, like they they would be treated like people be treating terrorists. Not y yes, they will be they they getting treated like terrorists. 
this this basically what it's saying if Reese visit this down and if they do not like uh if I ain't really complying to the to the town's rules they 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 will be executed. Yes, very sad. Anyway, it got me thinking. On the spot. This room has a very, very sad story uh, of the white lady of Sardin. Who was the white lady? Well she was called Dorothea. Lady Dorothea Sardin. And we turn the clock back now to 1628. Made her way across the manicured lawn to Sandy Hall and into the forest. There she came across a very, very handsome young lad of the name of De Hall. It was literally love at first sight, but a huge problem for Dorothea when she came back here to the hall. Her father was furious. We're Catholics, they're Protestants. You'll never see him again, but if you do, I'll have you banished. You'll live with the nuns of the south. God damn, this dude knows how to tell a story. It's like, look, look, you can hear the, the, you can hear the tone in his voice. Like, I feel like he should start, he should consider doing like story time videos or storytelling videos. Like, like Corpse Husband did when he first started this YouTube channel and career. Cause this dude, this dude knows how to deliver a story. The France, we're Catholics. He will never, ever have my permission to take your hand in marriage. This threat fueled their love. In the dead of night, she'd leave her bed and meet young De Hall on a beautiful, beautiful moonlit night. Dorothea left her bed. She made her way across the lawn to Sandy Hall and towards the forest. There, on the fringe of the forest, illuminated in bright, bright moonlight, was young De Hall. When De Hall saw her, he very, very politely bowed. He knelt down and affectionately kissed her hand reached into his pocket and produced a huge engagement ring. Oh, Dorothea, will you end this heartache and become my wife? A huge smile came across her face and she gratefully accepted the proposal, knowing full well her family would ostracize her. Out of the forest appeared Dorothea's two brothers, armed with two very sharp knives. They maliciously murdered the young lad right in front of her. Damn. Dorothea's heart was snapped in two. The tears spilled down her cheeks. She was brought back to this very, very room and placed in the house arrest. The following morning, her cruel father had her sent to Marseille. Imagine watching your soulmate getting killed right in front of you. Like, right in front of your eyes. There is just cruelty on a whole nother level in the south of France to join the nuns there. On arriving there, that poor girl never ate again, never slept again, never drank again, and she died literally of a broken heart. That's when the famous sightings of the late and white lady Sandra have taken place. Always across the road to our left where the old moat used to be, and always in between the horse chestnuts and the yew tree of the Lord Sin. Guys, this Loki reminds me of of the most what I what I wanted to say is this Loki reminds me of the of the most famous horror story or scary story in like South Africa and the thing is it's also true in 1926 in between the horse test and the tree, they found the foot of an Wait. Wait, hold on one second. Yes, I just needed to breathe. Oh, skeleton. And the sergeant in charge of the excavation said, definitely a murder, but I don't think we'll catch the culprit. This man's been here for at least 450 years. And on one of the fingers, this huge, huge ring, the ring was removed, carefully inspected, and had the words engraved inside, Dorothea D. Hall. It was none other than young D. Hall who had been murdered by the two South of Boys and buried in the ground of Sandy Hall. That would explain why the white lady of would go to the grave of the only boy that ever showed her any love, any warmth, and any affection. So, we're now gonna make our way upstairs, and I shall show you uh, the priest hole, the optical illusion priest hole. I shall show you a 45 service cop revolver bullet which is in the wall. So this room is known simply as the priest room. They say it's the most paranormal active room at Sandby Hall. The most tragic 
event that did take place here, of course, was um, when the army were watching. And this priest arrived downstairs on a bitterly cold night, knocked on the door. The South was, of course, immediately gave him sanctuary. He was also given a, a nice meal, etc. And he had no idea he brought the army with him. The army surrounded the building. Five soldiers kicked the door in. They came rushing upstairs, found this lad deep in prayer, and he was executed by beheading in this very, very room. Over the years, we've had um, quite a few paranormal um, experiences in this room. They say when they come in here, they feel that they're actually at sea. It seems to affect their equilibrium, and uh, I've actually seen a few people come in here and be physically sick. It, uh, it does just have a, an effect. Actually, the first time I ever came in here, I felt quite dizzy. I was only 16 at the time. I've had that in a couple of So he you is. Stand here, it actually feels like this part of the room is leaning over. Mm. You know, it is kind of. Yeah. So this isn't yeah, the first time no, no, he's uh, been it's here. It's been a pleasure, guys. Okay. Appreciate everything. No, it's been nice seeing him. It's been really, yes. really awesome. Wait. Yeah. Yes. Did they just chase him away? <laughs> Did they just like, dude, we, we, we're done. Like, you can go now. Damn, this is rude. Hope, uh, hope the series is a success. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Nice, nice, to see you. nice to see you. They really you know, did it. Balance in here. A little bit. I feel like I'm doing this. I feel I mean, a little like my head you. feels a little swollen. Yeah. Yeah. Like that dehydrating feeling. Look at Simon. Chugging water, man. <laughs> I don't think that's it right now. Yeah. So we're gonna start right at the most haunted hour. I mean, if we get the gear right now, we can be ready at three. I'm wrong. We got 12 minutes till three right now. God go. damn. Let's go get the gear. All right. Lights are fully out. There's actually no. Yes, what I'm I'm actually curious. Like, do you guys think y'all can do like this? What what they doing? Like, do you think y'all can go to a haunted or scary place at 3 a.m. and like do a video? Or, or no, no, not a video. Just just go do an investigation. Just just for fun. Do y'all actually think like y'all can do it? Just just go tell me in the comment section. No one else on the entire property. There's nobody even staying in like the hut area? There's someone staying three buildings over who will not be waking up until six in the morning. So she's basically gonna lock up when we're finishing. So if we hear anything, it's us. Okay. 100%. It's us or something else. And the thing is they alone they there also. All the gear. So everything from the SLS to the K2, the Oculus, the cat balls, two red pods, motion sensor, the mag lights, sphere box with headphones, also an EVP recorder, and a standard camera, because we heard so many stories about pictures being taken here. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So everything's here, as well as full spectrum GoPros that we can set up throughout the building. Guys, I mo I know most of this stuff here. Like this is a room pod, this is a coffin. I think it's a coffin, I do not know. This is, night vision cameras i think uh this is maybe i think it's also a room pod i, I don't know no. there's a cat ball there's a the, yes everybody know what this is this is a flashlight this is uh while i'm waiting for your fucking response are you just not gonna say anything to me? The, the name got got the word reader in it i do not know what it is just to make sure we capture absolutely everything I'm gonna go, I, I tend to have good luck with the flashlights. I'll take the camera. All right. I'm taking the EMF. Cool. I do music box as well. All right, gents. EMF, I nice. think. All right, I'm gonna also, turn on the Oculus. I'll snap picture. That, wait, hold up. The thing this dude is carrying, that, that thing is like, that thing is cool. I, I'm thinking of buying. Maybe I'm gonna get, that thing and do like maybe one of these videos because like that shit is inspiring to be <laughs> that shit is actually inspiring i'm gonna lie Face. soldier wow. Oh, wow face and soldier the white lady has no face wait i didn't even see what, what, what. Menace. All right. I'll turn on the Oculus. I'll snap pictures. Face. Process. Soldier. 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 Oh, wow. 
face and soldier. The white lady has no face. Uh, the soldier. soldier. Just as we walk into the room in the fireplace, we it's all freezing in here too. Wow. No, this is the coldest room in the whole place. I'm not sure why. Well, first things first, let's introduce ourselves. Yep. Hello, my name Okay, okay. It, it, it's Corey. He just, he just knocked in my ear like I, I'm listening to this with that said so. That Loki scared me. Man, what the fuck am I saying? They, they didn't scare me, man. I'm a big boy. I ain't, I ain't scared of shit like this. Don't lie to my face. I don't like being lied to. Hello, my name is Matthew. Hello, my name is Don. Hello, my name is Elton. Are there any residents still in Samless Ferry Hall? We'd Sam. love to be able to meet you tonight. Soldier again. Soldier again. Again? Yeah. Two. Two. Two, two. two times. <laughs> soldier, soldier, and then two. Hmm. Ned's so like so like as such an active past. I kinda wanna booby trap this as we move on. And see. Oh yeah. We'll, we'll be able to hear it. I would put it at the fireplace. That's where they kept putting their hands. Oh, right. Music yeah, box. Right with this. Manifest. Wow. Huh. Right there like that? That's exactly where that picture was taken. Yeah. Wait, the thing is, I didn't know Elton could like play piano. I only know like, uh, What's Brandon? I only know. I only know him. Like I only know that he can do it. I didn't know Elton can also. <laughs> you want to dance? <laughs> oh, they're already dancing. He just stopped. <laughs> I'm gonna be singing. Yeah. Yeah. Touch your ass. Touch your ass. Doing a lot of stats. Doing playing the piano. People, they, people, they let go. I don't even know what the fuck he do. What is mode? I don't even know. Yeah. He's just jumping up and down. He's sprinting up and down. He's just jumping up and down. And I'm just singing random bullshit. Do me a favor. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. He can also do Larry. I don't even know what the fuck that is. So serious. <laughs> Don't do weird. Don't do something weird. Don't. Don't think about it. I have to be serious with this piano. There. It looks. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, I didn't look at the other. Just looking back at them. <laughs> <laughs> if that dance didn't get the energy up in here, I don't know what will. New moon. No way. New moon. Numbers. New moon. Numbers. 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 I, I, Go ahead. What was that? The microphone picked up the tail end of it. Nobody heard that sound? Yeah. Hey, but the energy is up in here. So, man. Go ahead. Sisters? Warp and sisters. sisters Warp and sisters. The twin sisters. sisters. That's where they party. Rebecca? Was that one of them? No way. Rebecca Bo I don't That know. thing is hella active. I feel like one of their names is Rebecca. Great. You see what I'm saying? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Yo, this is going like crazy right now. I thought we were gonna split up. I haven't done anything with Dan yet. Okay. Alright, so you and Dan, me and Corey, who wants to go where? Someone should definitely spend a good amount of time in the priest room. <laughs> And the rest can probably wander around a bit. Yeah, we should go in the priest room. Want to? Yeah. Because I'm really wanting to do the room with the fireplace and then also where the white lady would walk around. Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Now. <laughs> so if anyone's torso, mm -hmm. that would. Capture it. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, should I throw headphones on? Yeah. What are they doing the Isis method? Isis method. Let's see here. I'm gonna put this in a different room because we have a camera in every room now. Okay. Murder <laughs> felt. Murder felt. Does it look like that thing? Away? Well, that's what they say about the white lady. The white lady, she saw a murder and she felt everything, broke her heart. Am I speaking with the white lady? Is that what they call you? Right, okay, so we have set up some devices for you to have a play with, if there is anyone here. We have a device here to my left, a device to my right, a device behind me, and there's a couple of balls outside there as well. If you would like to come forward, make yourself known, you can even Talk through the device over here. Please set off one of the devices so I know your presence is here. I just said that in a creepy tone. What is that? Shot. shot. No. Yeah. Shot. No. Really, yeah. Shot. We should go outside with this for a minute. Right That's now. where they said they always see the white lady. Yeah. I'm down for that. Tim. River. River. Do you want to give it a try? Yeah. I can add anything. It seems, it seems quiet here. Is anybody here with us? This 800 year old building. Everyone says they see it right Where are they going? The like? Really? Yeah. Just walking this? Yeah, because it would have happened a few hundred feet that way towards the edge of the forest. So, it would have happened somewhere over here, but she's said to be seen pacing from here all the way through the chapel to the other side where the moat was. These are the areas that they've seen her mm. walking through here. It's working, showing you right now. Do you remember her original name? Oh my god, I forgot it. <laughs> uh, Dorothea. Dorothea? Yeah. Dorothea. And if you've brand new, you've never seen this. It looks for heat masses, and then it maps it out as a, as a figure. Dorothea, yeah, was her name. Dorothea, or the white lady as some call you. If you're out here tonight, we'd like to communicate with you and talk with you and learn more about what's happened in the past. If you're willing to speak with us. We mean no harm, and we cannot see you or hear you. 
but we do have some devices that can do that will allow us to communicate with you if you would like Imagine imagine it was a bloody moon. Yeah, and I would move to the fireplace. Yeah, definitely. Because I mean, this is a better spot though. A suicide spot. Yeah. If there's anyone here with us, can you please give us a sign of your presence? Touch one of our devices. Make a noise. I was making that noise. I was just about to say I thought I heard their room pod going crazy downstairs. Oh, it's this room pod. Can you give us a sign of your presence? Make a noise or touch one of our devices? Is that you? Is that you making your presence known? Of course it's him. Or oh, them. There's more than one. You just scared it away. Do you have away. a lot of anger built up? Are you mad because you watched? Yeah. It doesn't stay on the screen for at least a few seconds. I tend to. I feel like she's an angry. No she's way. she's upset. No way. No way. What just happened? It just died. As you say, I saw that. It w <laughs> Aggression. We saw a stick figure on the ground and it dies. What is it with this and every time it captures something, it just shuts down. It's done. I mean, dude, if you think about it, it's draining the energy. Isn't that like a, the device that has the most power battery? Like yeah. it's a it's a f iPad. You know what I mean? Like that would have much more. It's done. It's Damn. Done. If that is indeed you making your presence known here, can you do it one more time, please? And make the sound go off. Hell. Be scared, I'll, say, I'll say the words he didn't capture, or he didn't say. I mean, we've come here hoping that you can help spread the word of God to us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay well, what's we wrong with this dude? Here. Why doesn't he hear these words? Alright, well, maybe let's bring energy back inside and... Yeah, maybe she doesn't want us out here looking for her. Yeah, or we can try and invite her back inside. Or it's warmer. If there is anyone in this room, and if you want to place your hands on the fireplace, you're welcome to. We also have a device that plays music in here if you'd like to listen to it. All you have to do is stand in front of the fireplace and it will play you a song. This was you, Elka. You heard that. What's making that noise like? It's like a tapping noise. Damn, what what was that? What's going on? Rim pop. Rim pop. It stopped. What color was it? Red. I did just invite her inside. You know, 
the building like that too. I mean, I guess it could make sense. Hello? We didn't mean to scare you by rushing in here. We did. We just want to talk with you. Weeps. Scared and weeps. Dude. We set up the flashlight <sighs> on this table. And you can communicate with us by putting your energy into it or trying to turn it on and off. Are there any spirits in this building that would like to communicate with us tonight or talk with us? Did that thing just move? The chair. I'm looking for like it moved. Wait, I want to make sure. Look here. Yeah. Oh no, the camera just focused. I this sound. Wait, that's that? Look. What did he thought it was? I've never heard him make that noise before. Ever. I thought you were holding a REM pod. No. <laughs> Dorothea, if that's you. What's the blue beeping thing? The on, what's. Look here. What's the blue beeping thing? I thought thing? you were holding a REM pod. No. Yeah. Dorothea, what's if that's this? you. Did you let go of the device? I must start. <laughs> I must start at door close on his own. Thank you. Dorothea, if that is you touching our device, can you now turn on the flashlight on the table to give us confirmation? Oh. Damn, that was accurate. Thank you. That was really good. You can turn the flashlight back off. And this is how we can talk to you by answering us through the flashlight. If not, you can touch the device that's on the ground. And we can ask you questions through that instead. Thank you. Flashlight just died. I don't know. Not died, just went off. Are you still upsetting your family because of what they put you through? Murdering your future husband, sending you away, I mean, dying with a broken heart. I mean, like, who wouldn't be upset? Like, the flashlight again. I don't even know. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, you it had is. To go through that. I couldn't imagine the pain that you felt or that you're still feeling to this day. I all don't get it. Like, Corey actually knows. Oh, these folks didn't cut any activity. Corey I do have a question, though, that I'm curious about. What I'm trying to because say is still Corey actually knows how to communicate with him. Like... Are you able to be or see your boyfriend and or future husband that was murdered now that you both are passed away? That's that's actually an interesting for yes. It's actually an interesting question. Turned on. Thank you so much.
Dude, she's she's talking to me. Keep it's it literally turned on for her. Okay. I'll just keep taking pictures. Okay, well that is very good. Can you turn the flashlight off? Okay. Thank ah, you. you just read this mine. Or she just read his mind. What are they doing? Oh, they're just listening what Corey and Dorothea. Oh, we're gonna try doing. to take a picture of you, if that's okay. If you can, go back to the flashlight. No, oh, she want to take a picture. <laughs> Can you turn the flashlight back off? We might have gotten a picture of you. So, flashlight and REM pod were off at the exact same time. Yeah. We're gonna take the picture of the flash on and I wanna turn it off. That's a good idea. Okay, Dorothea. Do you want to turn off your light too? We're gonna to try taking one more picture of you, okay? As soon as you turn the flashlight on, we're gonna snap a picture. We promise that. Guys, hold up. I'm gonna make this. Wait, I'm just gonna. Hold up one second. I'm gonna be right back. I'm still here. Will only be done so in positive light to prove to others around the world that you're here. And although your heart may be broken, we believe that people around the world will have compassion for your story and show you the love that you desperately wanted. The same love that you were never granted and that was stolen from you might be able to help bring back. So if you wouldn't mind shining the light one more time, making yourself known. And she did so. Thank and you, Dorothea. so she did. Thank you. If you enjoy us communicating with you and talking with you, turn on the light. You can let it be known. Do you see anything? I do, but it's not pleasant. Tell me to look like two eyes and nose and teeth. Wait, what is that? Right there on the wall. Yeah, off, but it's not making it. Just a little bit of power. Exactly. Wow. Thank you, Dorothea. So you do enjoy talking with us. I'm gonna bring in the cat. Maybe it could be like a spirit that poses at Dorothea. Yeah. yeah. Bring it. Yes. After nearly two hours, they had no activity. So I've got. I reckon it could be like so frustrating. On another tool that I'm holding in my hand that might have gotten picked up from you. And it said scared and weeps. Okay. So that is you. Can you turn the flashlight off? Put as much power as you can into it. I know it's exhausting and it probably makes you a little tired, but if you Turn that flashlight off. I'm gonna ask you another question. And so she did. You almost got it. Oh, it's just I'm in the way. My bad. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna set another device right here next to the flashlight. You can try to speak into it, and it might be able to pick up your words. Dorothea, can you turn the flashlight back on? If there are multiple spirits, entities, people, 
that are still roaming these grounds. If there are any other spirits, Dorothea, that you think would want to talk to us as well, could you have them walk through that door? Which door? And we'll make another tool that we have. It's called a music box. And it'll make it go off and it'll play music. You can either sit at the piano, walk through the door. Whoa. I watched that come through the doorway. I watched the REM pod get a little bit more power as the flashlight got less. Really? Yeah, I literally watched it happen like that. It was like a seesaw. Really? Song with the energy. Balance. I like the room, Balance. You know, I walk in, I see it happen. I'm curious. You seem to be getting better answers when I leave. <laughs> Am I? I think so. Ah. Wait. Uh, IR camera decided to rotate by itself. Damn, this thing wants to talk to Corey and he doesn't want anybody watching. Dorothea, I have another question for you that I've always wondered and I still don't know. And it's something that I've always been very curious about. But when you die, does your life consist of then? Replaying those terrible moments. Okay. Damn. Turn the flashlight off. Well, good. That makes me very happy. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Okay, what the hell is making that noise? I, I hope it is the other two, of course. Th th this should be banging in my ears. It is. Huh? Absolutely nothing upstairs. Nothing, nothing. No bad feelings, no vibration, no violence, no activity. So, Dorothea, are you able to hear and see us? Of course. So the guys just said that they had absolutely no activity upstairs. Really? And then I reminded them what Simon said. The only way you get activity in the haunted room is if you're by yourself. Is that what he's... That's what he said. Oh. He said this is the most... The room of the most activity if you're up here by yourself. I'm glad we chose out here. Well, I'm gonna go up there by myself. You are? Damn! I'm glad I chose down here. Now, that's what I love about Elton. This, this dude always really be good. brave. I'm gonna go up there and stupid at the, the same time, but on. still. And the spirit box. Now, wait, I can listen, mm -hmm. and the people watching can listen. Mm -hmm. So, she is said to, uh, to roam right through here mm -hmm. but like i said she's also known to uh to go onto the main road and cause accidents where, was, where was the body found this way that way yeah it was in, into the garden oh it's in the garden yeah Jeez. this is probably the weirdest thing i volunteered for but i trust simon and if simon says haunted room that means something 
Damn, that looks creepy. Just entered the paranormal realm. If you can hear me, it's been told that you walk this garden and this yard to and from home, searching for your lost love. We'd just like to know that you're here and that you're okay. Guys, I'm literally like biting my nails at this point. That's how intense this is. Was that you, Dorothea? Or is that Mr. Halton? Oh, is that his name? Mr. Halton, if that was you? Please come forward and let us know. I don't even know if that's at all. We really want to make contact with you. Before I put these headphones on, I'm sure people have come here before to let you know their intentions and why they wish to speak with you. And in my case, it's not only find proof there may be an afterlife. And if there's anyone to seek that knowledge from, it would be a priest. Let's get to tell a story. And have dedicated their life to becoming closer to the knowledge. They also see. And I'd also love to learn from you. Although the series of events unfortunate that led to your passing, but to understand why you took the risk you did in coming here for your faith. That's something I would truly love to understand. Will you lead me to where other spirits are also roaming around? Where there are more spirits? Or is it only you here? I think it's only her, if I'm being honest, because like... Exactly, it's only her. What's up with you? Oh! Moved. It moved? Yeah. What would cause it to do that? I don't know. Dude. The flashlight moved. Dude. It rolled. Did she just... shaking right now. Literally, you walked over there and it just started rolling. If you're listening, could you please repeat back to me what my name is? My name is Elton. Hello. So if you could say Elton back to me. I wanted to try this so you could listen to a spirit box with me as well. Please let me know if you hear anything. Okay guys, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 
I'm gonna say the shit that pops up through the spirit box. At least then I would know you're listening. So it's almost like I'm helping him with the investigation. I'll be, I'll be saying the the, the words. Yes, I'll be listening and I'll be saying what I'm hearing. Are you dumb? Stupid? I'm Elton. And all you need to do is come close to here. Just like that. Just touch that device. Yes, just like that. Just like that. Guys, hey. <laughs> I actually had a deja vu about this. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, if I'm right, then I do not know, but, but maybe there's gonna be something here also. Or maybe, yeah, uh, I do not know. Cause I, I can remember, it was a while back. I It's like I relived this moment before it happened. And they, they, these two, they're not alone. They, I think there's one or two people here. I'm not certain, or I'm not sure. Hey. Let's just watch. Could you do it again for me? No, from this angle. I'm talking about this angle. Thank you. Is that you, Mr. Halton? Is that you we're speaking to? Or is it Miss Dorothea? Okay. okay. So it's Miss Dorothea. Miss Dorothea, it's okay. You don't have to fear us. Like, the thing is, I won't be surprised if something touched this dude. And he'd be like, yo, I think something just touched me. I won't be surprised because, like, I feel... I'm not sure my... It was... Guys with me it was a while back I can't remember everything like I feel like it's going to touch him and then he's gonna call it out okay you don't fear us. one of them but I think it's him I mean you no know harm I really feel like she left bro yeah that was like 20 30 minutes of straight interaction and then now it's just mm -hmm. Dead. She went to them, I'm telling ya. I only said Elton is something, I don't know what the rest was. You're feeding. You're feeding, you're eating. I must say, I'm getting tired. All right, bye. <laughs> Are you saying that you're feeding off of me? My energy. Make a lap to the I low key thought he said he was... He was tired of talking to it. Yeah, so you can see how close the road is. Yeah, I had no idea it was right So I was there. wrong. How close the road is. The white lady said to The scene didn't play out like I building. thought it would. Onto the road. And and like I saw it did. And as cars are approaching, she would just step out and of course with a swirly brush. Jeez. Yeah. Guys, I saw a video of 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 this other sidekick the other day. They she said like when she was watching Sam and Kobe's conjuring video, the the lady in the video, like the ghost in the video, she spoke to her. If that's possible, then what if when we watch it, they also feed in off our energy? So that's why they don't really 
they don't really uh they don't really mind or they don't really care about giving them activity or taking their in it their devices energy they just like uh Oh, like we're gonna wait for y'all to post this so when the people watches it, we can like, we can like drain their energy. My guys, a lot of a lot of conspiracy and a lot of theories. I don't even know what's a conspiracy. I don't even know what's a theory. <laughs> but 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 maybe that's happening because like, if what the psychic says is tr is actually true, then maybe. Maybe that's it's also what's happening. I didn't hear anything else, nor could I even concentrate and try to listen. They're training our energy out, and I'm telling you, our energy is being trained. I'm so tired right now. Me too. I have to go to sleep. Oh, my face hurts. Mine, oh. don't. Out of my eyes. Ow. Migrates, some shit like that. Could be. Oh my god. Headache. Headache. Oh. Step out of the house. Loki looks like yeah, something is on his yeah. shoulder. And his left shoulder. Pain shoulder. Like it was too high. It was along my, my cheekbone. It just hit me and then. Yeah, it's still there. Get out of the room. Yeah, it feels like it just like. I like punched in the face and now I'm just feeling that. <laughs> maybe that's a, maybe that's what happened like you can see it you didn't feel the impact you're just feeling the aftermath of that thing of it your face hurts really guys if they can y'all seen sims 3 a.m. challenges and most of them is saying like uh, most of the rules is like if you do this or that uh, your organs will be removed from the inside out in all of that so if they can do that then why couldn't they punch him in like he only be feeling like the aftermath of it that's all I'm saying you better be joking Watch your face hurt. Wow, I'm it was like the weirdest thing. I got like a pain like here and then another one here, but not like in my teeth, like across like, like your face, like my cheekbone, I guess. Yeah, just like from here across. That's weird. The only thing I could like compare it to would be um, if you got punched, you know what I mean? Like someone landed. Oh, it's like that type of pain. Not, not like that hard, but like the punch and then like the pain you feel after, like when it's swelling. I, I think we've got some pretty good evidence downstairs. Yeah? Yeah. And then she left. Really? Just stopped? Just stopped. Or all the other guys did. Yeah, I'm curious. Wanna go meet up with them? Yeah, because they went outside after they left here. Yeah. I needed an off-camera break. It's nearly 6.30 a.m. We decided to pack up and get some sleep. Let's pack up, get a few hours of sleep, and then tomorrow we're driving to 30 East Drive, known as the Poltergeist House. Oh boy. Oh boy. What? It's basically Conjuring <laughs> House, Poltergeist House, same amount of notoriety. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? <laughs> Why would you pick like the scariest place in the world? <laughs> <laughs> guy's house. Tonight we're sleeping on the property. Tomorrow we sleep in the house. Hey man, All right. what is sleep, you know? Damn. 
yeah go subscribe uh if y'all did enjoy this make sure you leave a thumbs up uh go comment the go comment your best moment in this video and make sure to subscribe if you're new with that being said i'll see you guys in the next reaction video peace out